many other things like that and a tafsir tafsir of surah al-fatiha that may be of five volumes first volume is alhamdulillah rabbil alamin ar-rahman ar-rahim one volume second volume just tafsir of ar-rahman no, just tafsir of malik yawmiddin big big volume of 1000 pages second volume just on malik yawmiddin another volume just on iyyaka na'budu wa iyyaka nasta'in maybe two volumes or one volume another volume on ihdinas siratal mustaqim siratal ladina an'amta alayhim fourth volume on this uh, interpretation tafsir of this verse and fifth volume on ghairil maghdubi alayhim walad dalalin now the fifth one is being compiled time will come inshallah you will see in the published form and its name is bahrul maani fi sab'il masani fi tafsir is sab'il masani imam alusi wrote ruhul maani so our book of tafsir al fatiha in five volumes its name is bahrul maani fi tafsir is sab'il masani and other big tafsir of all surah of the holy quran separate and some other subjects for example the new issues which always come on and the people keep on asking necessity of fiqh and these there are many other works and still then then i won't be here in this world and still there would be thousands of things to be written and the people will come and they will keep on writing and allah's deen works will never stop Bismillah. Which which group is working for Khilafa, and when will it be established, and how? Just I uh, request you to study my book Al Khilafa Wal Jamhuriya, and you will get every answer of the whole thing. No group is working for Khilafa. I know each and everything, but I tell you honestly, those who say that we are working for Khilafa. they are putting the whole of muslim umma in trouble and there is no khilafa they do not understand what khilafa is they want to establish they have been given totally a wrong conception that there should be only one khilafa in the whole world and various states all these is bid'a and this is kufr this thinking is totally wrong against quran sunnah and seerah of holy prophet they don't know what is khilafa some people they have hot minded people they have given them and ignorant people semi learned people have given them very wrong interpretation of khilafa just interpreting some words textual and word in, literal interpretation of the some ahadith without understanding the real meanings so in islam one khilafa for the whole world is never needed and is never required and holy prophet never said this this is just a misguidance any state where you are living any state if the people work there for establishment of deen and enforcement of islam as a system this is the work for khilafa that's it khilafa means islamic government islamic system of rule it doesn't need to be named khilafa is not a term to be used it is just a concept that the islamic ruler and islamic government is naib niaba of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he is not the absolute ruler this is what khilafa means khilafa means vice gerency to be deputy that islamic rulers and islamic government including the parliament islamic government they are just representing the authority of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and they are deputy of holy prophet till the day of judgment this is what khilafa means and any form of the islamic government according to any system which are available here even if there is any presidential system it can be islamic government depends upon your own socio political circumstances of the country and geopolitical circumstances the parliamentary form of the government can also be islamic one unitary form it can be islamic federal form can be islamic and confederation can also be islamic these are minor things islam has not
strictly suggested any specific format or manifestation for the form of government. Islam goes for the basic principle that the government form should be based on consultation, based on democratic consultation and collective participation of people. Any government which is not dictatorial, which is not monarchical, which is not oligarchical, which is not dictatorial, any government which is not being ruled system of government by one man or one family, or which is not hereditary, any government which is being run with the consent of people, but within the framework of supremacy of Quran and Sunnah, according to the teachings and the laws and commandments of Quran and Sunnah and Sharia. Maybe any format or any manifestation that would be known as Islamic government and any Islamic government in any form that is Khilafa because Islamic government will be the representative of Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam deputy this is what Khilafa means they think all finish all the territorial limits and all these states and make one Khilafa and there would be one Khalifa this was never required by Islam you should read the book which I have written on Khilafa you will get and all these forms which are available there may be any mode of election Sidna Siddiq Akbar radiallahu ta'ala when he uh, end of his day before his death he nominated Sidna Umar to be next Khalifa any next ruler head of the state and then for his appointment a public a public vote public consent was required his nomination was approved by the public vote public consent collective vote then his nomination was approved and he sat on the chair of his office after Sayyidina Umar this is here a nomination and approval by the public by the citizens when Sayyidina Usman Ghani's time came Sayyidina Umar appointed a cabinet of six persons to choose somebody as next head of the state and he did not nominate so one mode became the nomination mode of nomination second time no Khalifa or head of the state was nominated by outgoing head of the state so that was nomination became a sunnah with approval of public and second instance, not nominated.